Donald Trump acted like a child while filming his scenes for The Apprentice, a new book called Apprentice in Wonderland, How Donald Trump and Mark Burnett Took America Through the Looking Glass, which was released on June 18, revealed. As time went on, he was finicky about having to wait at all on the set of The Apprentice. If he arrived and the cameras weren't ready to shoot his scene, he'd storm off and return hours later, just to prove a point. To help track his whereabouts in real time, members of the show's transportation team were instructed to trail Trump when he took his own car, the excerpt reads, according to Variety. Easier said than done. As one driver explains, trying to follow Trump as he sped to his golf course at Briarcliff Manor was an occupational hazard. Trump would run red lights, stomping on the gas and leaving other cars in the dust, the book continues. As OK previously reported, more tidbits about the ex-president, 78, have been revealed including how he was allegedly obsessed with Deborah Messing. He recalled meeting the actress, 55, and how she apparently fawned over him. She came up to me with her beautiful red hair, Trump says about Messing, pausing on this detail a beat too long. And she said, sir, I love you. Thank God for you. You're saving the network, and you're saving my show. Because in that world, which I know a lot about now, when you have a hit, a lead-in, it's a massive difference. I point out to Trump that Will and Grace came on before The Apprentice, which would mean that it wouldn't have received a ratings bump from viewers turning into The Apprentice. A lead-in or a lead-out, he clarifies, the book details. She was so thankful, Trump says. She said, I can't thank you enough. Do you believe this? I've been watching her. And I'm saying, she'd do anything for me. As he makes this claim, Trump's words are lathered with a suggestive grease, similar in tone to his boasting about women finding him irresistible in the leaked Access Hollywood tape, the passage continues. Apparently, the businessman couldn't stop bringing up messing while chatting with the author. During the early years of The Apprentice, Trump even had a crush on Will and Grace's leading lady. Maybe that's why he can't quite shake the bitterness that now exists between them. A former president who can't win over a star almost sounds like the premise of a corny romantic comedy, but for Trump, Messing's rejection is still a sharp dagger to his heart. This Deborah Messing, who I always thought was quite attractive, not that it matters, of course. The book reads, 